On October 6, 2017, R360 visited Philadelphia's Iroquois Park to chat with members of the Philadelphia Association for Public Art and ask, with such a public interface, how do we conserve art's materiality and meaning? The assistant director, Laura S. Griffith, oversees the association's conservation project. While they don't have an in-house conservator, there is a community of conservators that are consulted to preserve pieces at varying degrees. For example, Mark de Suvoro's Iroquois, a 40-foot painted sculpture, has been retouched and cleaned since its placement in the park. One of these conservators is Elisa Vignello. Elisa focused on the work she has done to Roxy Payne's Symbiosis 2011. Elisa has done a lot of cleaning to the 37-foot tall steel tree to remove handprints, bike scratches, and bird droppings. She has also done preventative damage to weak points within the tree's break with the occasional removal of a bird's nest. We also met the media and communications manager, Caitlin Martin. Caitlin works on public outreach and digital archiving. The assistant curator and project manager, Susan Myers, led us through a discussion of site specificity with the example of Sai Hua Chang's Fireflies, a performance that took place early this fall to celebrate the parkway's centennial. Sai brought a fleet of pedicabs adorned with colorful lanterns to the parkway to take participants around to admire its landscape while experiencing some of his favorite and enchanting childhood memories. This was especially on our minds since earlier that day we worked on editing our videos documenting Sai's Fireflies with documentarian Pat Gamley. Special thanks to...